Hi guys, what I'd like to share with you today are two variations of my very favorite Daenerys Targaryen hairstyle. Jumping straight in, we're going for a Dutch lace braid here. So that means we're going to go under the center section and we're only going to grab new pieces of hair from the top section. For those of you who are new to braiding, my biggest tip for Dutch or French braiding or lace braiding is to go ahead and grab your new section of hair before you go and move on to the next section. That way, when you come back to it, you already have the piece of hair ready to go and you just grab a new one, everything's in order, makes life so much easier. Just keep braiding until you reach about shoulder length and then clip it out of the way or rubber band it and get started on the second side. We're doing the exact same thing here. We're gonna to try to keep it as even as possible, taking small sections of hair and going underneath the center. Okay, now that both of my braids are done and they are clipped out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and get started on a regular Dutch braid. Now we're going to take sections from the top and the bottom this time, going underneath the center. Okay, now here I'm trying to stay pretty close to the hairline because I know that my lace braid is going to fall down over top of most of that hair there. hair oh my god we're gonna keep braiding all the way down to the end of your hair not forgetting this is a Dutch braid we're going underneath the center strand when that's complete we are going to band it or clip it and then do the exact same thing on the other side Okay, now that all of our braids are in, we're going to go back through and tug on each section of the braid just a little bit to try to make it look a little bit more full. Now I'm taking those two lace braids from the top and I'm going to take the braiding out of the ends of them then I'm going to split it into three sections and we're just going to make a regular three strand braid here to combine the two. side Dutch braids and I'm removing the clips then I put a rubber band on both of them to combine the two braids now here's where that loose 
section of hair comes in. We're going to take the loose section of hair and weave it through the outermost section of the braid. Just reach your fingers through and then pull the hair right through. We're going to go over to the other braid and do the exact same thing. We're essentially weaving the braids together. We're going to go all the way down the length of your braid or as far down as you'd like to go. By this point, my arms had had enough of this hairstyle, so I decided to bring it around the front and split it in half for a fishtail braid. And since it's summer, for those of you with long hair like mine, I decided to do a variation with a nice fluffy bun. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Bye, guys.